Good morning. We'll continue our discussion on the stability of finite slopes. In the previous video, we had discussed the phi zero analysis, which was applicable for clay soil or phi equal to zero type of soils. In this method, Swedish circle method, this is applicable for C phi soils, and it's also called as the method of slices. Let's assume that you have a slope ADB with the slip surface AB whose length along the curve is L and AB forms a part of a circle whose radius is R and center is O. So in short, the slip surface is assumed to be circular. And the failed mass of the soil ADB, the mass here, is divided into slices using vertical lines. And that's why it's called as a method of slices. So you have different number of slices here and the entire volume of ADB soil mass is divided into slices. And let's take a single slice out of this like this and the single wedge or slice of delta L length along the curve is then considered for equilibrium. So in short, the volume of the soil that's involved in failure is divided into vertical slices and each slice is taken for us to analyze for its equilibrium. So let's take this particular wedge here and let's mark a normal passing through a point here. And of course, since it's a normal to this curve, it'll be passing through the origin of the circle whose part is this wedge. So I have this normal to the curve which is passing through this point and it passes through the origin O. Let's try to segregate this particular wedge and the normal like this. And there will be a reaction to its self weight of the soil and the weight will be acting downward and the reaction will be like this. The reaction offered by the base against the weight of the soil will be like this. Let's mark it as R and it'll be at an angle phi with respect to the normal. So reaction R is inclined to the normal to the point, this point, at angle phi, phi being the angle of internal friction. It's quite similar to the case of a friction, mu w and R. The same principle gets applied here. You have the normal here, you have the reaction R here, and it's inclined to the normal at angle of internal friction phi. The second force acting on it, first was a reaction to the weight and the second force is a weight which acts along the plumb line or in the direction of the gravity and you have the normal to the curve here and weight is in this direction and the third force is a cohesive force acting along the curve L and at this particular point in this direction, C is acting in this direction at this particular point. So these are the forces acting on it. Reaction R inclined to the normal at phi, weight W purely in the vertical direction and cohesive force C. Now the weight W is inclined to the normal to the point at angle alpha with the components N and T. So if I can resolve weight W in the dire direction of the normal, I can have N and if I resolve weight W in the direction perpendicular to the normal, I can have T tangential. And when you talk about equilibrium, I can have from the resolved figure that N equal to W cos alpha. N is a component of W in the direction of the normal and N is equal to W cos alpha and T equal to w sine alpha just like the simple resolution of forces but from this particular figure that connects n with r you can say that n is also equal to r cos phi r is in this direction and phi is the angle made by normal n and r so n is equal to r cos phi also this distance which is the lever arm that the, re the reaction R makes with respect to the origin is radius times sine phi 
r sine phi because this is perpendicular the reaction is perpendicular to this line and this the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle happens to be the radial distance from this point to the center so this blue line marks the radial distance r small letter r and you have the phi angle here so this distance which is nothing but the lever arm that reaction r makes with respect to the origin o is nothing but r sine phi so taking moments with respect to o which is the origin of this circle moment causing failure mo will be t times r t is nothing but the tangential component of the weight which is acting at a lever arm r so whenever you take this resolve figure you should keep in mind that we are talking about this particular wedge and it will have a weight in this downward direction whose component in the tangential direction is t and that t will have a lever arm of radial distance r so that force will try to fail the soil mass so t multiplied by r is a moment overturning and the moment resisting failure are two in number one is a cohesive component c and second is a frictional component so cohesive component is same as the previous example that we had in phi zero analysis c unit cohesion multiplied by delta l the length of this element multiplied by the radial distance r so that's force multiplied by lever arm c delta l multiplied by r plus r the reaction force multiplied by r sine phi the lever arm so again when you talk about the resisting failure moments all these two forces c delta l r is anti-clockwise r multiplied by r sine phi is also anti-clockwise so you have two moments which contribute to the resisting failure and both are anti-clockwise whereas the moment causing failure mo equal to t multiplied by r is clockwise with respect to the center so mr is c delta l r plus r sine phi into r when rearranged and we know that r sine phi is nothing but n tan phi from the previous slide so i can write mr resisting failure is c delta l r plus n tan phi multiplied by r so i have an expression for moment resisting failure and i have an expression for moment causing failure you simply take the ratio of mr to mo and you get the factor of safety since this is represented in delta l term which means elements are considered as wedges are considered as elementary uh, points you need to integrate or you need to sum so i have a sigma sign here sigma c delta l r plus n tan phi r by sigma tr which simply means that you take this first wedge element and do the analysis to this point similarly you do for other wedges and you sum it up to get the ratio of mr to mo so mr to mo will give you the factor of safety and that's why it's called the method of slices where you take each slice analyze it for its equilibrium considering forces w r and c and you arrive at the factor of safety and likewise do it for every other slices sum it up and take the ratio to get the factor of safety of the whole soil wedge and the final expression cancelling out r which is common in numerator and denominator is cl plus sigma n tan phi by sigma t which is expression for the factor of safety in case of c phi soils using the swedish circle method